Well, we're about to enter one of the tunnels that was discovered by the Israeli army. Where I'm standing now used to be a potato field. The tunnel was completely concealed. We're at a depth of about 15 to 20 metres. That's about 50 to 65 feet. Now, this particular tunnel, we're told, is one of the most professional that they have found. It was built over the course of several years and a great deal of reinforced concrete was used. Several tons, we're told. Uh, the entrance here is very narrow and very small, so we're going to have to crouch down to get inside. Well, I've got to bend double now to, to get in here. You can see the roof is very much reinforced and very smooth. The army says there was a lot of work done to get this tunnel into operation. Uh, along the sides, you can see that there's a lot of work has gone in. There's wiring, there was electricity in here. Uh, there's a floor, there's a roof. It's not quite tall enough for somebody to stand comfortably, but the army believes it was big enough to allow several militants to pass through here. And they say that that was the aim uh, the nearest kibbutz, the nearest Israeli community, is only a few hundred metres away. And just yesterday, a tunnel like this was used by a group of Palestinian militants. They managed to cross the border below ground. They reached an Israeli kibbutz and they fired anti-tank missiles and killed five Israeli soldiers. Now, Israel says dismantling and neutralising this tunnel network, which it calls a terror tunnel network, is the key objective of the offensive in Gaza. The Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, says the operation in Gaza will not end until the tunnels have been put out of action.